This receptacle couldn't be wired more wrong. First of all, even though the manufacturers provide backstab, these guys here, you should never use them. They tend to break the receptacle as it ages and gets brittle, and they often come loose, and especially with AFCI arc fault breakers. That looseness will trip the breaker, which is a good thing, because if it didn't, it would heat up from sparking melt the outlet and potentially start a fire. So you don't want to use these backstabs, you want to use the screw terminals. Uh, commercial and industrial grade or hospital grade receptacles, the screw terminals will be designed for robust backstabbing. They'll have a clamp plate that screws down onto the wire, not just a push-in. It's the push-in spring connector that fails often. And they left the unused screw terminal unfastened, so it's sticking out. It'll short to things more easily. And the mo worst thing is that they grounded this receptacle using a neutral connection to the ground. Now, the ground should be a bare wire separate conductor, bare wire that links the exposed yoke the cover plate that mounts on the front of the device back to earth uh, separately from the white wires that ground the uh, current back to earth and because they carry current they should be insulated like this one whereas that will make current available on the face of the outlet on the wire mold on very many touchable metal parts in the home where kids might lick it for example uh, so you've got current where kids could be licking that's pretty horrible uh, not only that but they didn't bother to screw it down it's loose the terminal is completely loose so you get the idea of the kind of people who do that kind of thing this sneaky fake ground intentional bypass of the proper grounding of this system now did they have a reason to do that maybe maybe not i can't tell if there's ground wire in this box yet but if there's not ground wire then you should install a non-grounding type receptacle or a gfci